everyone. Happy Friday. Yay. <laughs> Hi, my friends. It's Miss Alyssa here from my backyard, enjoying the sunshine that's out today. <laughs> and um, we're going to do another edition of Friday Friends Favorites, where I help you really learn some of the songs and rhymes that we love so much to do with our littlest friends. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do some of these a few ways because our friends go through so many different stages of development in such a short amount of time, right? I always say when I see our little ones at Friday Friends, oh my goodness, you've gotten so big in just, in just a week all of a sudden. So we're going to go through some different ways to do some of our favorite songs based off of the development of our little ones. And today I have one of our very, very, very favorites. If you know me, you know I love popcorn kernels. So today you need a scarf. If you don't have a scarf like this one and you could get one from our little baby bags that we have available on our website underneath our story time uh, section or you can use a washcloth, one of your own scarves, um, something you know adult supervision required but you could use anything. Okay. So you know I love popcorn kernels so follow along with me. We're going to do it with the scarf the standard way first. Ready? Here we go. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels, in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, till they pop, till they pop. Whoa, my scarf got away from me with a little breeze. <laughs> Yay. So you can do this in front of them. It's really fun as a sensory experience for them to watch and keep track. You can kind of flutter it on their skin. It's really fun. And then you can help them do it, putting them in your lap and having your arms in front of them as well. And of course, the older they get, the, the better they will be at holding onto the scarf. And even if you're the one tossing the scarf, encourage them to try to catch the popcorn kernels. Great, so let's do this one one more time. I love it. Here we go. Pop Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels, in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, till they pop. Woo! Till they pop. <laughs> I keep losing my scarf in the fall breeze. <laughs> Yay! You can also do this one with a shaker, so when they're able to hold on to something that's a little harder, get their grip going, we can do a shaker as well. It's a little harder to catch though, so... But I like the sound that it makes because it kind of does sound like popcorn kernels. Ready? Here we go. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels, in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, till they pop, till they pop. Wow! Very good! And I have another one that's similar to popcorn kernels, but we're going to do it two ways. One way that's really, really good for our, our toddlers who love to stand and jump, right? Okay, so this, this one, similar to popcorn kernels, what else do I like to snack on? Some toast. <laughs> So this is also a good scarf one. This is toast in the toaster. This is short, sweet, and simple. But again, with the scarf, and there's a little bit of counting. You ready? Here we go. I am toast in the toaster, and it's getting very hot. Oh, there's no counting. Hmm. Okay, so the next one that we're going to do is our toast in the toaster, and it's um, very similar to popcorn kernels. We're going to do it with the scarf, and we're going to do one that's great for our bigger kids, bigger kids, who like to stand and jump. All right, so I'm going to do this one with a scarf, and you can follow along with me. Really simple. I am toast in the toaster, and it's getting very hot. Tick. Tick-tock, tick-tock, now I pop. <laughs> there it goes. Ready? One more time. Here we go. I am toast in the toaster and it's getting very hot. Tick-tock, tick-tock, now I pop. <laughs> there it goes. All right, but you can also do this one 
standing up. Are you ready? I'm gonna go grab my scarf before the wind takes it away. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll toast in the toaster. Okay, so you can do, actually, we're gonna do two more ways. So I brought my assistant, Beagle, who is going to act as our baby today. Um, I know I, I talk about this book all the time, and it's on our 100 books every kindergartner should know list, but The um, Adventures of Beagle, the Unimaginary Friend, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite books. Love the illustrations. But Beagle's gonna be our little baby, so you can also do this as a lift song, where the baby is the toast popping out of the toaster, and it's really fun, and it works on their sense of anticipation, which is something they need to learn, right? So I'll show you how this works. So you have your little baby in your lap. Here we go. I'm toast in the toaster and it's getting very hot. Tick tock, tick tock. Now I pop. And see, it's so simple. You wanna do that one again? Here, ready? Come on, let's do this one again, everyone. Get into each other's laps. Hang on to your little one. Let's go, here we go. I am toast in the toaster and it's getting very hot. Tick tock, tick tock. Talk. Now I pop. <gasps> Very good. Thank you so much, Beagle. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do it if we're standing with a toddler. So you can stand up nice and tall. And we're just going to have fun. You can get like kind of wild and you can dance with this one. Ready? So here you go. So I'm toast in the toaster and it's getting very hot. <gasps> Tick. Tick tock. Now I pop. <gasps> Very good. See, that one's just all about the pop. So you get really low and you pop right up. So that also works on timing. Ready? Here we go. I am toast in the toaster and it's getting very hot. <gasps> tick tock, tick tock. Now I pop. <laughs> Very good, everyone. Very good. <laughs> All right. That's a fun one. And I love it when they can have a little bit of action and jump and play, right? Okay. So we're going to do our story next. And it is one of my favorite times of year. So I think that we can do Boo at the Zoo. This is by Jeffrey Burton and it is published by Little Simon. Are you ready to see the boo at the zoo? Let's see. All right, here we go. Come a little closer. <gasps> Welcome to the boo at the zoo where the animals dress up in costumes too. With bolts on our necks, green skin, head to toe, we party all night in the laboratory's glow. Guess boo! What do you think the giraffes are dressing up as? What does it sound like? Sounds like they are... <gasps> Giraffenstein! It's a very silly book. I love it. <laughs> okay, let's see what the next costume is. We love to haunt and float at the zoo. We disappear, then pop up and say, boo. Guess boo. These are the flamingos. What are they dressing up as? Who says boo? Hmm. <gasps> flamingos. <gasps> so silly. We love frozen castles and sparkly crowns. We dance all winter in our royal gowns. Guess boo the penguins are going to be. What do we think? <gasps> Penguincesses! Oh, how cute. <laughs> we play all night long. We turn into bats. We have black capes and fangs sharper than cats. Who are the tigers going to be? Hmm. I think they're going to be Vam Tigers. <gasps> Look at them, they're all dressed up for Halloween. <sighs> we love howling a mighty good loud tune. Our tidy whities show and glow in the full moon. 
guess Boo. Under werewolves. <laughs> and they're howling at the moon wearing silly underwear. <laughs> when hunting for treasure, we swing down from trees, grab a sword, climb aboard, let's sail the seven seas. Guess Boo. What do you think? A pirate! Like primate? <laughs> oh, Halloween is quite a thing when you celebrate at the zoo. Now, do the animals trick or treat or do they just say... <gasps> Boo! Happy Halloween! My scarf is flying away in the breeze. Okay, so now let's do, I'm feeling really cheerful. We should do our If You're Happy and You Know It. Are you ready for our If You're Happy and You Know It to send us all off into the rest of the wonderful Friday and our weekend? Here we go. Back up a little bit. Oh. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! <laughs> Good job, I got my neighbor's dog uh, really liked the clapping part. <laughs> Hi, buddy! All right, but before we wrap this up, we gotta do our challenge round. Are you ready? Here we go. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp. Stomp, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, and you really wanna show it, if you're happy and you know it, <gasps> here we go, do all three, big finish! Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray! <laughs> good job, everybody, so good. Thank you so much for joining me today to learn our songs, one of my favorite songs, and for listening to our story. I hope that you all enjoy the rest of your afternoon, and like I said, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, and I will see you all soon. Bye!